You are tuned into Let Me Relax. Hey, you guys. Welcome back to another episode of Let Me Relax. It's your boy Tyson. Thank you for supporting me, my YouTube fam. Thank you for supporting me, my Anchor fam. Um, to hear this whole episode, you're going to have to go on Anchor. Um, you can also do Apple Podcasts, Spotify, whichever place you listen to your podcast. But with that being said, we're going to discuss this whole Shamar Moore situation today. And so for those who don't know, almost about a week ago, Monique Slaughter and Shamar Moore posted a video. I don't know what their relationship is. I don't really care. It's irrelevant to the situation. And I just don't care anyways. It has nothing to do with me. But she was holding the camera, which is why I brought her up. Um, she was present when he made this video and she was pretty much okaying everything that he said. I don't know if she's biracial herself, but nonetheless, he said he has a white mom and a white dad and he's not going to denounce, denounce either side of his family. And his, the speech was basically given like kind of all lives matter. Like, you know, we'll unite and I have hope and da, 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 da. And there's nothing wrong with that. And I also am not surprised at his point of view because he is biracial and you actually had black people fighting him on this on Twitter. Let's go through the top tweets. Um, this one says, Shamar Moore need to shut his dumb ass up. Why these biracial kids be so confused? Tariq Nasheed reposted it, or he responded um, with Shamar Moore. Shamar Moore had said, I am proud to be black, but I'm also proud to be white. And Tariq Nasheed responds with a face palm. Let's see, what else? Here's another one. It says, Shamar Moore, uh, colon, I am proud to be black, but I'm also proud to be black, uh, white. And it says, black people, colon, I need y'all to speak for yourself when y'all saying this shit. Um, it's a gift that says, give me your phone. Here's the main publication with 60 responses, so we should be able to get somewhere with this. Um, also, uh, or to the meat and potatoes with this. Also, somebody said that Monice already responded and she said they're not dating. So if y'all wanted to know that. So then somebody responds, woo sis. And it's Michael ja It's a picture of Michael Jackson that says, this ain't it. Um, somebody responds with a gift that says, this is not tragic. Somebody responds with a gift that says, it's Brandy from uh, Basketball Wives. And it said, here we go. And I think she's black. I don't know. She has box braids but she looks really she just looks caucasian with a big nose i'm not sure um more gifts um somebody said what exactly about his whiteness is he proud of i'm guessing his white parent was a decent person but is this the same as whiteness um somebody said what somebody said yeah okay whatever dude more gifts. Okay. Somebody says, okay, it's obviously an unfortunate and clumsy choice of words. Why doesn't he take that also proud to be white attitude over to an actual white pride march and see what it looks like? You have more gifts. Somebody says, according to the law, quote unquote, you're still considered black, bro. That is all. Somebody said he's as confused about this as he is about the other few aspects of himself. I'm assuming he's talking about his sexuality. Again, y'all, I'm gonna need y'all to mind y'all business. Oh my God. Well, this dude does have a rainbow flag in his bio, so maybe he's a uh, part of the LGBTQ. All right, y'all. So y'all heard all of that. If y'all wanna go see more, literally just type in Shamar Moore on Twitter and you will see everybody's reactions. Um, oh my God, where to start, where to start? Um, I find in this time where we're trying to be quote unquote woke, that a point of being woke is reprogramming our minds. And I don't know if y'all know this black people, but the one drop rule is made up by white supremacy. It's a thing of racism. So if you're still going by that, you're not doing very good on reprogramming your mind. <laughs> and you're not doing very good in the area of logic. Because logically speaking, Shamar Moore is not a black man. I don't care how phenotypically black he looks. Hey, you guys, if you would like to hear the rest of this podcast, please check me out on Anchor.fm, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all other podcasting platforms. Thank you for listening.